Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube Fixes. On today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, the error message, what you would get while installing uh, Windows 10 on your Windows 8 or uh, Windows uh, 7 machine. Now, there might be uh, instances where, where you're trying to upgrade your Windows from Windows 7 to 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. And while installing Windows 10, you might get an error message saying that uh, Windows 10 error code 0xc1900101 or uh, the one which ends with 0018. Or probably now you might get an error message saying that we couldn't install a Windows 10. Now, uh, on this video, I'm going to talk about some of the quick fixes which will help you to install Windows 10 on your on your window on your computer. Now, the first thing what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go ahead and disconnect all your external uh, devices from your computer in case if you have an external hard drive or if you have an external uh, keyboard or a mouse or if you have an HDMI uh, cables connected you will have to go ahead and disconnect it and once you have disconnected all the external devices or peripherals um, the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to look for device manager and once you open device manager uh, uh, device manager is nothing but it will show up all the devices which are uh, present on your computer the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and update your display driver in case if you have nvidia uh, graphic card or in case if you have other graphic card what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on it and click on update driver once you uh, if you have once you have updated the driver and also you can if in case if you have uh, the default uh, graphic card you can go ahead and upgrade that as well along with that what you will have to uh, do is you will have to um, once you have upgraded this you will have to close this window and um, you will have to go ahead and uninstall your security software from your computer in order to do that you will have to open programs and features the quickest way to open programs and features is you will have to press windows and r key simultaneously which will open up uh, run window or else you can in the search box you can type run once you open run type app dot cpl now this will uh, open up uh, the list of uh, softwares which you have already installed on this computer now what you will have to do is uh, you will have to look for the security software which has been currently installed in my case I have McAfee which has been uh, installed so you might have Avast or AVG or Norton so you will have to go ahead uh, and uninstall it all you have to do is you will have to highlight this do a right click and click on uninstall so you will have to uninstall those softwares completely and in case if you have um, Dropbox uh, please go ahead and uninstall that as well because uh, at times even that uh, stops the uh, Windows 10 installation now once that has been done now you will have to close the programs and features window and then uh, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer in clean boot so I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step instruction how to do it so uh, same thing uh, in the search box you will have to type run in the run window type MS config that is M O S C O N F I G click on OK in case if you're getting user access control prompt click on yes or allow now on this window you will have to go ahead and select uh, selective startup in my case uh, I've already enabled clean boot on my computer you will have to click on selective startup and then go to services under services you will have to check the box which says hide all Microsoft services so what this will do is it will uh, hide all the uh, Microsoft services so only thing which will be uh, enabled here is non Microsoft services so once you click on hide all Microsoft services you will have to click on disable all and um, then go to start one well, then go to startup tab here open task manager and disable uh, the startup items in case um, if you have any of the uh, startup items enabled here you will have to go ahead and disable here so for uh, for the demonstration purpose i'm going to uh, select the skype here so i'm going to uh, click highlight the skype and click on disable all and the same thing you will have to go ahead and disable uh, do it for the your sound drivers as well not for your uh, 
graphic cards all that stuff keep it as it is only for the softwares which you are using so in, the, in this case i can go ahead and disable apple push disable this or maybe i can also disable the adobe and i'm going to click keep the graphic card as it is because i've already uh, uh, updated the graphic card so i can go ahead and disable um, keep this as it is and quick set um, you can go ahead and disable that as well once you have disabled that uh, the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to close this window click on apply and then click on ok in case if you get a prompt to restart your computer you will have to go ahead and restart your computer because if clean boot will be completed only when your computer is restarted until and unless no changes will take place so once you have restart your computer try installing a windows 10 from um, uh, using the iso file or media creation tool in case if that works well and good in case if that doesn't work what you will have to do is um, you will have to go ahead and run the check disk on your computer so what you will have to do is you will have to click on the search box and type cmd that is command prompt do a right click on cmd and click on run as administrator in case if you get user access control prompt click on yes in the command prompt window you will have to type chkdsk so which is check this now what this will do is it will check for any error message on your uh, desk in case if there are any error message or back sectors on your desk it will go ahead and repair it by by itself so hit enter so uh, this might take about uh, 20 to 30 minutes based on the um, performance of the computer and also the amount of files what you have on the computer so there are a couple of stages in which it would go ahead and complete so it is at the first stage and uh, once there are about 50, 57 5 lakh 78,048 files uh, which are present on the computer so it is um, checking all this progress so it shouldn't take a long time the first uh, step is completed and it says file verification is completed and zero back file records process in case if there are any bad sectors it would go ahead and repair it in case if there are any bad sectors it might take a longer time than expected so in case instead of taking 10 or 15 minutes it might take about 30 to 45 minutes so right now it is at 84 percent let's wait uh, till it is completed so uh, this is how the screen would uh, look once your check disk is completed there are about three stages and once all the three stages are completed this is how the screen would look like so if you look at the uh, screen here there are zero kb bat sectors in case if there are any bat sectors it would have uh, got and repaired it by itself by using this inbuilt tool once the check disk is complete you will have to go ahead and restart your computer and try installing um, the windows 10 using the iso file or using a media creation tool so I hope this video was helpful in case if you like this video please click on the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching you have a great day and you take care